flex She wanna know me, I stay low-key All gas, no brakes, baby, let them hoes sleep Body on 10, make your girl OD I get in my way, never out of my lane Feel like you the one and I'm on one So what it's gonna be, baby squad up We finna go deep, is you Riding on a team, got what you need Baby, won't you keep me company? What's up, what's up, you guys? So this is going to be a colorful balayage. Not really colorful, but it's going to be a nice wig, you guys, so I hope. So this is from a company called Make a Look. I probably worked with them before, okay? And they did send me this 26-inch loose wave, water wave, Brazilian 13 by 4 lace front. So I did take the liberty of bleaching the knotsness after I received it. And the lace is called transparent. So when you guys think the transparent, y'all probably already thinking of the lace where you can't see nothing, it's invisible, you know, stuff like that. Well, it's not one of those type of transparents. It's one of those where it should be able to kind of like go with a lot of different skin tones, okay? It did come with the elastic band already sewn in it, girl, and it also has combs. So the first thing you want to do when you apply a wig, especially if you want to use like glue or hairspray, is you want to clean the hairline of your own skin. Like remove any type of makeup that you may have, any type of oil, sweat, dirt, girl, I don't know, whatever you got on your skin, just remove it. So that way you can stick that wig on, okay? Now, as I stated, I did bleach the knots of this. I used a 30 developer, and that right there is actually that wig grip band that you see. I used a 30 developer. I left it on for like about 45 minutes to an hour, and I did slightly pre-tweeze some of the hairline on this, okay? Now, it's a 13 by four, and I can already tell that it's gonna be way bigger than the norm, like all the way to my neck. Like, you know, the hairline is all the way right here. And I noticed that with these type of wigs. So, what your girl gotta do? She gonna have to customize this thing so it can fit properly. Now, the first thing that I start off with is a nice comb, honey, a nice comb. And I part it right above my ear tab. So that way my ear will be comfortable and so will my head. And right there where that part is at, right there on the top, that's where I'm going to cut it off. But I'm also going to make another part here on the side and cut as well. Now this is definitely not going to destroy the wig because girl the wig is too big as it is. So you want to make sure that it fits properly. Now I do this to any lace wig that overlaps my own natural ear. 
I mean, I do need my ear for hearing and I do want the wig to sit as flat as possible. So this is very important. Now back in the day, we would have never had done this. I don't remember what we would have done. But girl, listen, today we are going to cut away at this extra excess lace that's overlapping our ear. Now the next best step is to cut the lace on the ear. What I do is I just spray some of my favorite hairspray right here. And I put like two to three coats, let it dry, let it get tacky. You know, try not to spray none in your eyes, all right? And then I will put the wig on, you know, pull the wig down. Now, I told you guys before, sometimes I don't need to use a blow dryer with the Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray because it dries super duper fast. But y'all seen that lace, y'all seen the lace. You seen that the lace look thick, right? You seen it. So with this particular one, it was a work in itself. I had to do this one piece by piece, as you guys see here, because of the way that it was created. You know what I mean, it was a little bit too big over the ears. So this wig, it took a little bit more work than your girl normally does. But sometimes we have to do this. And I did have to use the blow dryer, because like I said, you seen the lace, it was a little thicker than most. Now right here is where I'm gonna go ahead and just make me some sideburns. Now yes, I do see that little piece of lace right there. Trust me when I tell you, I'm going to put some hairspray on that puppy and make sure that it is, you know, sealed down. But in the meantime, I'm gonna use some of the baby hairs just to, you know, make myself feel a little bit comfortable with this lace. Now it wasn't bad at all, it wasn't that bad, but when it says transparent, of course you guys think of the clear, see-through, I can't tell you got a wig on type of transparent. This isn't that type of transparent, but it's still workable, honey. Um, it all depends on how you dry it too with the hairspray. You have to be very careful with certain lace because sometimes you will see the lace when you're using your hairspray. Sometimes it's not good to use heat when blowing blow drying a uh, trying to make your product dry on certain lace it's just like a learn as you go type of experience now for this one I made the baby hairs really short because I really didn't even want no baby hairs The mousse that I'm using is the got to be volumized mousse. Now, the mousse to me is so important because like you see right here, it will help you lay down your sides, your edges, and what have you. And now to use that elastic band, honey, I'm gonna make sure that this thing lay down. Now what I did notice when I was you know, checking the wig out, it's a, it's a loose wave, it's a loose water wave, okay? I noticed that some of the curl pattern was a little bit extinct, it wasn't there, it was invisible, it wasn't as curled as wave. So what I decided to do, as you see right here in some spots, I'm gonna take my curling wand, just a tiny one, 
and I'm gonna do this just like this. I'm not gonna allow the hair to rest on it for too long. I'm just gonna twirl it on and then twirl it right off. That way the curls are still loose. And as you see right here, I'm just wrapping it around and taking it right off. Once I get to the end, it comes right off. And I just pull the hair so that the curls don't stay tight. And as you see, some of the hair, the curls came out. They weren't as wave as I would have preferred. So I just use a small curling wand and pull it right off. Now, the color, they did an amazing job in this wig with the color. I really do like it a lot. The density is 150, it's 26 inches, boo. I mean, you know what I'm saying? The color is really nice though. They did a beautiful, amazing job with this balayage. The hair is still super soft and I was impressed with that as well. Super duper soft, beautiful color. The density of it, the fullness of it, very nice. I do say so myself that it's nice. I would just have preferred a different type of lace, you know? I would have preferred a more, you know, transparent, crystal clear lace. But I, I think I worked this out, baby. I think I worked it out, it's cute. And of course, you know, that's what makeup is for. Very affordable. Check out Mega Look. I worked with them quite a few times. And I think like out of all the wigs that I, they have some really nice color wigs. I'm just gonna say. I was gonna say this one was my favorite, but I don't know, but I do like the color and I do like the density. I just didn't like all the work that I had to do, but in the end, I worked it out and I think it looks pretty decent. You know what I'm saying? You guys can let me know down below what you think of the unit, what were your thoughts. This is how long it is. Now you know it's waved, so if it was to be straightened, it would definitely be a little bit longer. But this is what 26 inches waved looks like on your girl. I think this color will complement any skin tone, you guys. But I'll leave all the information down below. Let me know what you think. I love you guys. Stay diva and divalicious. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye. Bye.